If you cry more, you will wee less. Every little helps. <laughs> well, I guess there'll be many tears if Southern Water get their way and increase consumer bills by 91%. <laughs> this is the same water company who have recently poisoned their customers due to years of underinvestment and money grabbing to pay dividends to greedy shareholders. Predictably, the rest of the water companies have got on the bandwagon demanding customer bill increases to shore up their inept management of our water supplies for decades. With most of what we consumers paid in swiftly siphoned off to the shareholders, they flushed our money, literally, down the toilet. <laughs> now, <laughs> now they're coming out with their begging bowls, hoping off what will reward them for their incompetence. And since we have a government that is weaker than any of our we, who have been taking the proverbial, I don't hold out much hope for us consumers. So my advice is, stop drinking liquids. Eventually, you will become so dehydrated that when you die, the undertakers won't need to embalm you. <laughs> you can take comfort in the knowledge that the money you saved on both not imbibing likely contaminated water and not producing any sewage and not needing embalming means your family will at least be able to pay for the forthcoming water bill soon <laughs> Thank you, Thatcher, for selling off the water companies as part of the family silver in the 80s. I hope that there's an afterlife so that you can see your legacy. <laughs>